What's your like favorite podcast right now? Um, I'm listening to the Adventure Zone. Have you ever listened uh, to yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, my girlfriend's been listening to that a little bit. Um, yeah. She kind of like waned off of it, but like. It's really it's, good. Yeah. I'm a huge uh, McElroy Brothers fan. <laughs> um, have you listened to My Brother, My Brother and Me? Mm-mm. That's their other podcast they do. Mm-hmm. So uh, they started that one before Adventure Zone. It was, they're three brothers. Two of them mm-hmm. work at Polygon. One of them, one of them went to OU, but I don't know what he does for like other mm-hmm. podcast stuff now. Um and they started, like, a self-help podcast, but they, it's not really self-help. <laughs> like, they'll answer, like, Yahoo questions and stuff like oh, that. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so it's very it's very comedy podcast. But they sure. started playing D&D with mm-hmm. um, their dad. Oh, that's um, really cool. Yeah, who's, like, a radio <laughs> host. And we're oh, the, wow. Yeah, like a co- country radio host. Hmm. Um, and it's hilarious. Yeah. I'm really enjoying it. <laughs> I'm, like, 30 or 20, up, 20 to 30 episodes in right now. Mm-hmm. And it's very, like... I've played a few D and D campaigns, and they haven't been super good. But now <laughs> yeah. that I've like played, now I've listened to the show, I know how I want my mm-hmm. how to run and or not. Yeah. I would I don't want to DM, but I would know how I would want to play another D and D game. Yeah, it, it really depends on one having a good DM. Yeah, and oh, Griffin is so, Gr- Griffin <laughs> the DM is so good on that show, <laughs> and then. Uh, just getting a good group of people. And I think that's what it's been a problem with mm-hmm. so far for me is that, like, everybody's been half interested. Yeah. And that's just, like, why are we doing this yeah, if you're exactly. not paying attention to mm-hmm. what we're doing? Like, and we had mm-hmm. a lot of people. We had, like, six or seven people in our group. Oh, yeah. And it was just, like, <laughs> things would get lost because people were talking to people and mm-hmm. stuff like that within the group. Yeah. And there'd always be somebody who'd, like, be like, all right, do we want to do this thing that will obviously move the story along? <laughs> One person would be like, no, I don't want to. And it'd be like... Mm-hmm. Sick, dude. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. And that's just, I mean, and then there's the other extreme, like someone who just like fuck shit up. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, like I was the like first or second campaign I ever did. I only ever really done two, but like the first one we had a friend. Uh, hi, Jordan Yates. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but like we were at like some tavern or an inn of course or and, and as, he, as you do yeah as you do <laughs> and he was like i'm gonna burn the place down i was like dude like that, this isn't even like important to anything yeah. what are you doing you know what's really <laughs> funny on my last team we <laughs> accidentally burned down the place uh, okay, <laughs> that we were in what that where we met but yeah no it it makes me i don't have the time to put into like a D campaign in my life right now yeah but when i do I feel very like way better prepared for it. Oh, yeah. Be like, are oh, you really want to do this? You really want to? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Instead of being like, oh, my friends are doing that. I'll do it too. But I don't care at all. Yeah. You know. <laughs> so uh, that's been good. What have you been listening to? Um. So since I've been really into philosophy lately, uh-huh. um, there's this podcast called Philosophize This. Okay. Cool. And it's been going on since like 2013, and so there's like over 100 episodes, and I'm just like, he he. The dude literally, like, talks about f- important philosophers over time. Oh, that sounds cool. And so, like, it started with, like, pre-Socratic philosophers. I'm on, like, Avicenna was the last one. Uh, and before that was uh, St. Augustine. And mm-hmm. so it's, like, the important points that they've made over yeah. time. It's just, like, I'm basically getting, like, an associate's degree in philosophy, basically. Yeah. <laughs> Would you recommend that to somebody who's, like, interested in philosophy? Uh, oh, yeah, definitely. Is it a like, good, like, he, first kind of, like, getting into philosophy kind of thing? Oh, yeah. It, okay. He definitely sums stuff up in a way that is understandable and cool. relatable. And it's it's never going to be, like, what even is he talking about right now? Yeah, do it, they go over, like, their ideas and stuff mm-hmm. also? Okay, that's cool. Because, like, philosophy is something that's really interesting, but I feel like it's really tough kind of to get into <laughs> sometimes. I feel like maybe a lot of times people don't, understand because because we live in the 20th century and we have 20th century philosophers that like sort of like spiral into themselves oh yeah and so it's like oh the metaphysics of the blah 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 turn into and then a lot of people get really put off by that because yeah, it's super. incredibly complex yeah um but philosophy is kind of everything so. yeah exactly <laughs> that's cool yeah i'll have to check that out that sounds really interesting yeah uh it's just a time investment it, rather than like doing an audiobook or something i'm just like catching up on that podcast yeah totally. and so well, like, that's like an audiobook on its own yeah exactly <laughs> yeah but it's like a freaking it's like an entire history philosophy book yeah as a podcast which is great 
It's really inter- <laughs> interesting that you mentioned like you getting like an associate's degree from a podcast because it's so <laughs> wild to me like how you can learn like what you want to mm-hmm. learn in today's age if you find the right things. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I didn't I learned Ableton before I even went to music school yeah. like from YouTube. Mm-hmm. And I was talking to my friend Adrian like the other day and we were just talking like we were texting talking about how like it's really sick that they like they're learning Blender. Mm-hmm. the 3D imaging 3D yeah, render yeah. app and they're learning it all on YouTube and they're like, and I was just like that's so wild that you're just learning it on YouTube yeah. you know and that's so cool like it's so cool that we live in a time where we mm-hmm. can just learn that stuff if like you're like oh I want to learn how to play piano I, there's a YouTube mm-hmm. a whole YouTube playlist of learning yeah, piano yeah. or I want to learn how to sing you know mm-hmm. it's so cool to me yeah and I mean like a lot of the schools that are teaching this stuff also use that and so it's like yeah so oh we're spending a lot of money to like come to school and then it's like we're gonna show you a youtube video yeah and it's like, i could have done this for free anyways. yeah <laughs> i totally agree with that there's sometimes i've been in a class and mm-hmm. they've played and they're like all right you've came to you you've come to class and we're gonna watch a youtube video or we're gonna watch mm-hmm. a movie it's like do i really yeah yeah i think the biggest thing for me are classes that are like read this book and that's the class mm-hmm. and i'm like sick i love reading but, like, did I have to pay, like, $1,000 to, mm-hmm. like, read a book? Yeah. I could have done that at home, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I could have bought this book. and But then – and then especially with classes that you have to take. The, yeah, <laughs> it sucks. And that's the thing that sucks about, like, college is, like, things are going to – like, that are always going to be there. Mm-hmm. And it's just, like, really hard to, like – how can I put this? Push your way through those frustrating moments to see the good mm-hmm. in college. Because like a year ago, I was really close to dropping out of college. Mm-hmm. Like I was in a really bad rut, and I was mm-hmm. like, couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. Um, now I'm great because I'm like, yeah, one semester left. Let's do this. You know, <laughs> yeah, bring it on. I mean, yeah. I, but um, I was just in classes that weren't really interesting me because mm-hmm. I had to take them, and I was just like, dang, like, why? I forgot where I was getting at, but, like, mm-hmm. it's just really interesting to me that, like, sometimes college mm-hmm. is, like, feels that way. Like, yeah, it's, yeah. like, I have to get through this bull crap that I don't like to feel the good, to yeah. learn the things I really want to yeah. learn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I feel like at this point, and this isn't, like, to, I guess, question anyone who is majoring in, like, one of those fields, but, like, yeah. at this point, it might be more prudent to get your degree basically off of YouTube or yeah, like do a podcast super, instead super. of like I think of getting like a philosophy degree or something. I think the things that are valuable about degrees and going to college in person mm-hmm. um, is like connections. Mm-hmm. And I know like people are like, oh, I'm going to music school. I'm going to make connections. Yeah. But I mean like actually like <laughs> having a one-on-one relationship with your professor. Yeah, yeah. Um, like – my relationship with like Kevin and Dustin mm-hmm. um, is way like means a lot more to me than like listening to a guy on YouTube mm-hmm. and yeah definitely. yeah you know like and like is that like worth the money? Some people yes, some people no. Yeah, um, yeah. But also I've I've thought about this a lot and I've like I asked myself like okay I've been through five years of college now or I'll be at five years at the end yeah. of the next semester and I've got I'll have my degree do I regret going to college mm. and my answer would be no yeah because <laughs> I've learned so much and yeah, it's exactly. made me the person that I am today mm. and I feel so prepared to do things I want to do now yeah and I found out about a career choice that I wanted to do because exactly I went to college but is it right for everybody? No. 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 no you know, definitely, no. definitely not. Like financially <laughs> and like some people just can't learn that way and that's totally mm-hmm. real. And I know people – do you have the mm-hmm. thing sometimes where you're in college and you're like, man, all my friends that didn't go to college are kicking ass right now. <laughs> and I'm like, sometimes I wish I didn't go to college. But then I remember like, oh, I'm going to kick so much more ass when I get out of college because yeah. I went to college. I, it's kind of weird though because we live in a time where that – is becoming increasingly less true to where it's like, oh, my friends that didn't go to college are having a really hard fucking time yeah, because super. everything sucks. <laughs> super, yeah. I think it's weird because, like, ha- my musical friends that didn't go to college um, are just doing music stuff, and that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, you're killing it. Yeah. Uh, but also, like, they're working a day job like I am right now also. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's not really that different in that way. Yeah. Uh, but, I know, I totally agree. Like, 
it's really interesting to see how it's really interesting going to college and then being like seeing my friends that don't go to college and seeing what they did mm-hmm. and seeing the things that went bad and not well because they didn't go to college. Yeah, yeah. Because like there's some of my friends that are killing it because they didn't go to college and that's mm-hmm. that was just their thing. And I'm like, oh, hell yeah. yeah, do your thing. Yeah. And some friends I'm like, you're working a you're working a, a job you hate and yeah. y- y- you want to do something, but I don't know. It's really tough. It's yeah, really yeah. it's really hard because mm-hmm. also education is a very lavish like you have to have money or you have to yeah. like get in debt to do it and it's like some people are just not willing to do that which is mm-hmm. totally fair yeah yeah and so i mean i had jared lee kites on recently yeah and we're friends on facebook i don't know him personally <laughs> though <laughs> um he like dropped out of college but like i mean the lunar laugh is doing great they're doing yeah they got awesome gigs their albums are awesome and so yeah. you don't have to go to college not at uh, all <laughs> yeah and it all counts about your situation being mm-hmm. on, like being honest with yourself and being like do i really want to yeah. deal with the bullshit for the good yeah but i'm really thankful that i did and i mean mm-hmm. like i feel it's just like we like we were talking about earlier like it's just so wild to think about the person that i was when i decided i'm mm-hmm. gonna go to acm yeah and the person i am now yeah like just the completely different person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's so much more that goes into that <laughs> than just college, but like, it's shaped me in some ways, yeah, you know? Yeah. Actually, there's a question I forgot to ask you. <laughs> yeah, perfect. What's up? Um, why music and not like a real job? <laughs> oh, I just like music way too much. I'm too much yeah. of a music nerd. Yeah. I wanted to be a music journalist <laughs> for two years. I went to journalism school. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, wait, I'm not being honest with myself. And I want to make the music not write about it. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's very like, it's been my life for so mm-hmm. long. And and that's wild to think about, actually. It's just like, I've been into music and it's been my thing. And I think, well, not my thing, but a thing I like mm-hmm. uh, for so long. And it's just really interesting to me. It's still fun. It's yeah. still cool. It still yeah. makes me pumped. <laughs> and I think that's what's really cool about it. Yeah, exactly. And I had a family that raised me on music mm. and stuff like that. So that was, yeah. the, that was the groundwork for it. <laughs> yeah. But it, it does get, like, scary for the parents, at least. Cause they're oh, like, oh, my mom. My parents not did not want job. me to go to music school. Yeah. My mom. <laughs> mom. I love my mom. Mm-hmm. I love her to death. She is one of the best people, one of the most amazing mm-hmm. people in my life. Did not want me to go to music school. Yeah, <laughs> my dad was like, "Oh yeah, follow your dreams, whatever." But uh, <laughs> but uh, and I get it. It's scary. It's scary being like, "Ooh, mm-hmm. you're getting an art degree." Uh, mm-hmm. I don't know about that. Or go back to journalism school. But like, yeah, she just wants me to get a bachelor's, and I'm make. And she's so she, every time I see her, she's just like, "My baby's getting a bachelor's." <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on the standard too, because like my my parents kind of the same way too they're like at least get a degree yeah like, exactly that's exactly <laughs> where my mom's at too they're uh, like, if you have a degree in something that will help way more than you think yeah exactly yeah um but <laughs> still it's like i uh, doing music like is there a thing mm. to do yeah. in that <laughs> yeah is there money to be made well same thing can be said about every other job right now right yeah uh, and i think mm. if you're putting money into something like that <laughs> you might as well do something you like yeah Exactly. Like, I, I, if I was over at main campus doing, like, journalism right now, I'd be mm. miserable. I'd be, like, <laughs> like not wanting to go to school. But I'm mm. thankful that I get to go to this school and have fun yeah. and at least learn something. You know, every class has its own, like, how much it affects me meter, you know? Mm. You know, how much do I really <laughs> want to take away from this? But I learned something from it. Yeah. You know? And that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I think the... Even the classes that I that I've had to take that I'm like, fine. Yeah. I, I've still gotten something out of it. Yeah. And so like even with like music culture here, music culture yeah. here is like one of those like like everyone has to take it and if you're not like that into it, that was it's very still the class kind of I was like a block too. class. Yeah. Um but like even still, um I mean, I took that with Patrick, and so oh. it was a lot more fun that way. I, uh, I, <laughs> I love Patrick. Uh, the other thing about Patrick, hi Patrick, uh, <laughs> is that like if you get him on a tangent, he just like goes. he'll just go, and I love that about him because he's just so passionate about the oh, things yeah. that he likes, and that's really like, cool. anything. Yeah. Like if, if you say like a sliver of a thing that relates to a thing that he yeah. can go on about, he'll like 
ooh, I got this. And yeah, go, like, go. He go. <laughs> yeah. Um, which is with, with teachers you don't like, it really sucks. But with teachers you like, it's really mm-hmm. sick. I love Patrick. Yeah, yeah. Like, actually, our the songwriting and demo building class we have yeah. together is the first class I've had with Patrick. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it was kind of funny, too. Is like, no, no offense, Patrick, I guess, but, like, sometimes I felt like he forgot the question that he had that he had the class. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Super. Uh, I mean, it's just it's a different teaching style. Everybody yeah, has their yeah. own ways. There's no right or wrong to it. <laughs> it doesn't relate to everybody. But, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I had to, like, email him once to be like hey remember how you said you were gonna do this send us a time you should do that can can we get that (laughs) yeah super hey nobody's perfect (laughs) no i mean he's like one of the busiest people here because he like halfway runs this place too so (laughs) yeah exactly and it's really interesting some of my professors that i have like feel the best like i have like the best relationship Mm. with don't really relate their teaching style doesn't relate the most with me sometimes mm-hmm. you know like yeah like there's people where I'm like oh I love you as a person and you're so important to me and I'm so yeah. glad that I can teach I can learn under you but I don't like how some of the things you do like mm-hmm. I don't I don't think this is the best way to teach it you know yeah, yeah, yeah. so it's it's cool being like cool mm-hmm. I'm learning what I, I'm I'm taking in what I can yeah, yeah yeah and you know what's really interesting is like I was thinking about this today I had this like really weird. I had a really long break between classes because we did those interviews yeah, of, yeah. instead of going to a full class. I had like a three-hour break between classes. Mm-hmm. And I kept running into my professors and talking to them. <laughs> like I ran into Dustin and then we hung out and talked for a while. And then I ran into George Lang and mm-hmm. talked to him for I a while. I, I, I love George so much. <laughs> he was um, on a podcast. He was? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, it, was a, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, and then I ran into uh, Patrick. Mm-hmm. And it's really interesting feeling like I feel like mm-hmm. I'm a peer to my – I'm becoming a peer to my professors yeah. now yeah. where I'm like they're not like this like, oh, man, they're my professor. They know so much more than me. <laughs> and like I've got to work with uh, Kevin Lively one-on-one for mm-hmm. an internship. So mm-hmm. I definitely feel like, you know, even there I'm like yeah. – Kevin's like a mastermind. Kevin and this, Dustin and everybody oh, yeah. I'm talking about oh, is yeah. a mastermind in their own way. <laughs> but I f- it's very nice feeling like, oh, hey, there's my friends being like there's my professor. Yeah. And that's really cool. Yeah, yeah, And that kind of no, goes back that's... to the, like, the whole like college experience. Yeah, and – I mean, I guess we have a unique perspective in that is that, you know, we're not dealing with, like, doctors with tenure or whatever. Yeah, we, yeah. We, we're dealing with people that work in the industry. And so yeah. we talk to our teachers and on a first-name basis. And yeah. we, like, I have Nick Lay's number. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I went to a house. I went to a show one of my friends was playing in town. Mm. Uh, found out it was a house party that uh, Dr. Pants was playing. And I saw yeah. him live. It's so yeah. weird. Like, Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And <laughs> it's cool, though. Like, it's really cool making these friendships and these mm. making and le- being one-on-one with these professors. Yeah. Because that, like, those those experiences are, like, the things that I'm really going to, like, hold on to exactly. for the rest of my life. And I'm like, I'm going to like want to get a beer with my professors like later yeah, exactly. on in my life. I'm going to want to hang out with them. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's, that's the point that everyone should get to at school because uh, I think certain departments may not have that. Yeah. But it's like, a lot tougher when it's like a 60 year old dude. He's all upset sure, all the time. Sure. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, which there is like one of those dudes uh, in the music school. Uh, <laughs> like, but at the same time, the people who do get to know him, and this is like the point I was going to make, is like whenever you get to the point with your professors where you know them and you can talk to them like people, <laughs> yeah, that's that's what you should get most out of going to college. Yeah, is super. You get real connections with people rather than just like the piece of paper that you paid thousands of dollars yeah, for. Yeah, and that's, that's like you said, that's super way more valuable. Yeah. Like I've been thinking about that so much and it makes me really appreciative of my experiences I've had mm-hmm. with that. And it's also like kind of like making music, like those connections you have with people is also really important. Yeah. Um, it's just, it's really cool. It's like I ran into Trapani at a bar like yeah. two w- weeks ago and mm. I was just like oh I didn't know you're in town he's like oh yeah I'm just hanging and I talked to him for a minute I was like okay see you dude you know like <laughs> like yeah exactly it, yeah it's very cool and it's not weird mm-hmm. it's not weird and it's very like these are but also the really cool thing about professors mm-hmm. being a, having a professor relation, a student professor mm-hmm. relationship I say they want to help you 
Yeah. So I've talked about like mm -hmm. talked to my professors being like, hey, you know, post college, I might be moving to this place or over here, mm -hmm. I might be trying to do this. Do you know anybody who could? Do you have any know anybody exactly. in that area? And they're like, oh yeah, just hit me up when you actually mm -hmm. move out there, and I'll talk to people. I exactly. Know. And that's so cool mm -hmm. that like that we're gonna have these resources <laughs> for the rest of our lives. Mm -hmm. And are these friends for the rest of our lives and these peers for the rest of our lives yeah, who yeah. want to help you because that's like mm. the relationship. That's what they want to do as a professor. Mm. I think that's really cool. Yeah. And I know there's some people that <laughs> don't get to have that in college and it really sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, I went to this school and my teachers didn't want to help at all or they didn't mm -hmm. know anybody and they couldn't help. And Or you're dealing with like this 200 person like lecture hall. Yeah. And just nobody gets to talk to anyone because it's just you show up to class and then you pull Go. all nighters and then, <laughs> yep. and then that's that. I've been to those classes. Yeah. You know? Um, and it sucks. I don't, yeah. I don't even remember who, I, who my professor was. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I, like I couldn't. I couldn't do that. Yeah. And kind of going back to, like, why we chose music, like, I couldn't do anything else. Yeah. Either. I, I <laughs> feel the same way. I mean, there's stuff that I also want to do. Like, I think the analog circuitry stuff is kind of mm -hmm. pulling away from, like, creative music. It is in its own, in its own way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's connected in some way. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, no, I, 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 I'm trying to think about other, like, majors I could have gone into. I really don't right, want to. Exactly. I really don't want to. Yeah. I, I tried the one that I was kind of interested in mm -hmm. and I wanted to do radio stuff, but there's not really a place for that anymore. Yeah. We're doing a podcast right now because that's what that's turned into. But Exactly. Uh, which is really cool. Um, but um, yeah, I tried the one thing that I was also interested in and I was like, <laughs> oh, this isn't really going to go mm -hmm. the way I think it was going to go. So yeah. I might as well go with something I'm more passionate <laughs> about and wait. More, more risk, mm -hmm. possibly more reward. Yeah. Because like, even now that, like, I guess I've been sort of, like, shitty and privileged about it, but, like, yeah. uh, like looking at jobs, and I'm like, I don't want to sell shit anymore. Yeah. Yeah, no, totally. <laughs> like, I, mean, I don't want to, like, oh, how can I help you? Yeah. Because I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Have you worked those kind of retail jobs? Um, Not, like, specifically. I, I did work at sprouts for a little bit oh yeah so we talked was, about this yeah. uh so i mean but you, yeah that's part of it too there's uh, that guest service like <laughs> i can't act like myself i mm -hmm. have to be what this company wants me to be yeah exactly like that and i have a company that i, I thankfully work for a company that i'm feel good enough about that like sure, i yeah, yeah. i don't hate it as much as other jobs i've yeah, had yeah. but yeah even then i'm like i really don't want to do this for like more than like five years of my life I exactly don't have to, you know yeah <laughs> but uh I think it's I think it's important to know that because there's people that are just like I'm gonna do this I'm okay with this. Mm -hmm. There's people that put their priorities on other things in their life and that's mm -hmm. totally real. But I think you and I have that in common where we're just like, wow, I, I, I can't. <laughs> I, I can, but I can only do it for so long. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's a lot. It's a. It's super weird going mm -hmm. on to that tangent. Like it's super weird working a retail job. Yeah. And <laughs> how to, I think about like the like. <laughs> the not the philosophy but the psychology that goes into like retail jobs a lot where like you have to act like a person yeah, that you know yeah. and stuff like that and it's it's weird to me and I don't know how it is for like people who have done this but like uh, one of my managers uh, and I'm like friends with him yeah. uh, he's, he's a really cool dude but like one of my managers um, from Sprouts like he he like didn't go to college he just, like, worked there yeah. for a long time and then just kind of, like, moved up in the ranks yeah. and just, like, that's just what he does. Which, if they're happy, more power to them, you know? Right. But, but like, he's, like, a really big gamer. Yeah. And, like, he, like, has been really into Overwatch or whatever. And yeah. it's, like, I don't understand. Like, I'm I'm weird, I guess, and I don't understand how. Yeah, no, I super get that. Like, I have friends, and this isn't, like, this isn't a dig at this mentality. It's just something I don't relate to. Mm -hmm. I have friends that are very, like, I'm going to go work my day job, and I'm going to go drink, mm -hmm. and I'm going to party, and that's it. Yeah. And then there's more to them, obviously, than mm -hmm. that. That's very, like, but, like, they're, like, like, oh, what do you like to do? Oh, I like to, I like this, this, I like working this job, and I like partying. Yeah. Which is, like, cool. Mm -hmm. That's what you like to do. <laughs> but, like, I look at it and I'm like, I don't 
relate to that at all. Mm-hmm. I I don't want to do that. I just feel very mm-hmm. – it's, it's really weird because it's like I don't think that they're – what they're doing is any less valuable than what I'm doing. Right, right. Because like, they're living their life and they're doing what they want to mm-hmm. do with their life. But it's very just like, whoa, that's <laughs> wild. I don't relate to that at all. Yeah, and yeah. it's super weird seeing that on a regular. Like, yeah, yeah. My friends will be like, I'll work like one night and they'll be like – Oh, do you want to go out drinking or you go to out a bar? And mm-hmm. I'll be like, sometimes I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go. I'll go out tonight. Yeah, yeah. And then the next day they'd be like, do you want to go to a bar? Do you want to go out drinking? And I'm like, whoa. We just did that last night. Yeah, like, we whoa. just did that last night. <laughs> and it's just kind of wild to me. I'm like, dang, y'all, y'all, and that's super it's real. It's just, there's a mm. whole culture to it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's just something I don't relate to. Yeah, I'm also like, uh, like I was telling you, I, I don't drink coffee. I yeah. don't. Uh, drink. I don't. I drink uh, very minimally. <laughs> like I, I didn't drink till I was twenty one mm. because because of like past Good family. <laughs> no, you know that's a part of it, but also like that is super a part of it, and that kind of goes with that like religion conversation we had. <laughs> But also uh, addiction in my family is like a super thing, and yeah. I was like, I don't want to drink this till I feel like I'm ready. Mm-hmm. And I haven't. I mean, like, I haven't smoked any drugs in my life. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not, like, anti, you know, right. stuff. Right, I'm not but I'm like, either, but I haven't, and it's just, like, it's I'm not my fine. thing. Yeah, it's not yeah, my thing, exactly. you know? It's just, like, um, I've seen it. I know what's yeah. going on there. More power to you if you can mm-hmm. do that, but, like. Yeah, I do want to try. You want, that's totally <laughs> real, and that's, that's how I was with drinking, and now I'm, like, I can have a, I could have a drink every once in a while. Mm-hmm. I like the social aspect to it. Exactly. And that's cool. <laughs> but I don't, like, I, I've gotten, like, drunk maybe, like, once in my life, and I fucking hated it. Yeah. I fucking hated it <laughs> so much. I was like, I don't know what's going on right mm-hmm. now. I'm having a bad time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I'm not doing this again. So, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah, I was talking to a friend recently who uh, stopped drinking, but, yeah. like, he got blackout drunk. Oh, God, that's sounds And, terrible. like, like, the next day... He, like, was asking people, what did I do? Oh, yeah, super. Yeah, no, I have friends like that. <laughs> and they were like, do you want the short story? The <laughs> yeah. Long? We're just like, yeah. what? <laughs> and it's just wild. It's wild that our culture, like, is like, oh, yeah, drinking's totally cool. Like, mm-hmm. that could be a thing that that's totally fine, even though, like, it ruins relationships and destroys mm-hmm. people. Like, oh, it's cool. Like, yeah, it's totally yeah. fine. It's so <laughs> weird that they, like has a culture behind it mm-hmm. and, and I get it like I know people who work in that industry but it's just weird to me I guess yeah, as somebody yeah. who doesn't drink regularly mm-hmm. and I think there's cool like I've had drinks that taste great and I'm like this is sick yeah, yeah. I don't like beer that much <laughs> it tastes like butt to me mm. and I'm like people are like oh no taste this beer it tastes like this this and this and I taste it I'm like this t-. it's like kind of with like a coffee with you I'm like nope yeah, I don't have the power yeah. for this. Uh, like I get it like yeah, I understand I, I totally get why you like can, this yeah uh and I, I've had sips of alcohol, too, where yeah. people are like, oh, are you sure? And it's like, yeah. No. Yeah. yeah I, I'm good. I still don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. And I think being aware, that's good. And it's very, like, there's so many different reasons why people get into alcohol and get addicted to it. It's so mm-hmm. scary. And I think yeah. that, like, seeing that in my family growing up, I was just like, you know what? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll just not, you know? Yeah. And so. And that and then people around here, like, the get arrested for possessing, like, a gram of oh, weed. Oh, yeah. It, and it's, it's like, so wild. <laughs> and then, like, you're in California and people are smoking weed on the streets. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so uh, weird. Yeah. It's so – and, like, the whole culture behind that is even more mm-hmm. problematic, lack of a better <laughs> word. But, like, yeah, like, here's a bunch of – bunch of people who can smoke weed and here's a black person that's in jail for five years because they had like one yeah. ounce on them you yeah know? and like i i it doesn't make sense in my yeah, brain yeah, yeah. like it, I, <laughs> it doesn't make sense why this should exist mm-hmm. and that kind of goes with like the religion thing we're talking about where people are like weed is bad and it's bad for Christianity, but I am going to get blackout drunk and, mm-hmm. be, and that's yeah, okay. Yeah. You know, well, like it's, it's just one of those things in our culture where people like just, I don't know, double think. <laughs> yeah, totally. Totally. And I get it. I get where it comes from. Mm-hmm. But like, <laughs> come on, dude. You know, like, yeah, yeah. You think like, you think like, some dude who has some weed on him should go to jail for five years. And if it's usually POC people, a POC person should go to jail for five years and then a white person on the weed should yeah, go. Yeah. That's racism. But, like, a POC person with a little bit of weed on them should mm-hmm. go to jail for five years. But, like, some dude who got blackout drunk and, like, was 
like hurt somebody. It's like, ah, yeah, it happens. Yeah, that's just no, alcohol. that's the, that's the, that's uh. alcohol. You gotta hold, can't hold your liquor. I guess. Yeah. Uh-huh. you know, it's like mm-hmm. maybe there's something wrong yeah, yeah. here with. And I mean, that's I, who everybody <laughs> knows that, but it's just really hard. Mm. It's really weird thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's like lots of instances in culture of like double think like that. And I mean, I. I was born in Venezuela, and uh, I came here the day I turned six. And so okay, I, I cool. basically grown up here. Yeah, But totally. I still have, like, a slight amount of separation to Super. where at, at least I've been able to, like, take a step back and go, like, why? Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'm sure, like, you're still connected with your family from Venezuela, right? Uh, not really. Uh, no, okay. Like, uh, I'm sure Venezuela culture still seeps its way into your life in some ways. Yes. Yeah. Um, but, like— the the way people are – so, like, one real big cultural thing is uh, with family. Uh-huh. So, um, in Hispanic culture, uh, one, like, kids stay with their parents until they don't. Yeah. There's and no, should, like, you're 18 and you're out. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. And it seems, like, really – shitty in in one direction where it's like this wealthy white class or white middle upper class family is like cool you're 18 get the hell out yeah it's like we can totally support you anyways but get the hell out yeah super so, it's weird that that culture exists what? and then uh in the opposite direction too it's like oh we're you know rednecks that like uh once you're 18 i want to get back to all my drinking or whatever so yeah like, get the hell out. yeah like, it's, exactly. it's still the same thing but like he's like take care of each other yeah super <laughs> and it's it, it's interesting you say that because like i grew up in a in a culture where it was like yeah i need once i get move out i gotta be moved out forever mm-hmm. and i had to move back in with my mom because yeah. financial stuff i went to uco i was gonna yeah. OU for a year and it was weird. It was weird for me because I had to, like, face those those things, mm-hmm. those kind of cultural, like, views. Yeah. And I'm probably going to have to move into my back and my mom before I move out of state a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to have to face it again. Mm-hmm. But also, like, those are bullshit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, no, like, you— uh, I'm saving money. <laughs> am I less of an adult because I have to, like, move back in with my parents? Like, no. no. Your mom loves you and yeah. she'll take care of you. Yeah. It so, counts. It counts. Cool. I mean, there's obviously situations where people are outstaying their welcome. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and that's super real and its own thing. <laughs> but like when you your parents like, cool, you need to save some money for a bit before you do move across the United States. Yeah, yeah <laughs> totally. Move back in. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. I shouldn't feel <laughs> negative about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What should I do? Get an apartment for two months? No. Like that's yeah, that's yeah. bullshit. Like Plus, you have to, like, pay an extra fee for, like, breaking the lease or Yeah, something. exactly. It doesn't make sense. And I think it's just weird. I think it's really important. I mean, I'm sure you feel that way with, like, philosophy stuff where it's really good to, like, question what yeah, culture yeah. puts on yourself. <laughs> where you're like, why do I feel this way about this mm-hmm. way? Why do I feel negative about, like, yeah. this aspect of, mm-hmm. of me? And Yeah. So, like, another part of American culture similar to that is mm-hmm. uh, what people do with, like, their parents and grandparents uh-huh. it, in Hispanic culture, like as soon as the grandparent like isn't able to take care of themselves, they just like move, move back, back in, in with the family, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and they just they're just a part of the family. Yeah, um, and like so recently, since like shit's going down in Venezuela, um, my aunt, uh, my mom's sister, yeah, uh, has been living with us for like the past few months oh cool and like but <laughs> like that's just that like she's just yeah. a member of the family and yeah. she's just like there now like yeah but there's no like oh i gotta take care of this other yeah, person yeah or super. like i have this intrusive person in my like no yeah. it's just we're family and that's that but like then what happens with grandparents yeah we're like the, oh you're just going straight to a home yeah and i mean i i think about that also a lot because like I want to take care of my family, but I might not be living in the same state. I mean, obviously, it's, like, something I'll have to deal with when I get there. Like, right. there's no, like, i got to plan it now. But, yeah, like, nobody wants, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's some shitty people that want us and their family to a home mm-hmm. because they're that. But I don't I wouldn't want to do that to people I care about. Yeah, exactly. Um, I think it's also, it's important to think about, though, whenever, like, to me, family is somebody who takes care of you when there's mm-hmm. someone in your family who isn't. 
Mm-hmm. Reciproca getting that feeling. Yeah. Because, like, just because they're family doesn't mean, oh, they're always family and that's just how it is. And, yeah. like, you always got to love them. Right. No. Like, if somebody's hurting you and mm-hmm. being and Yeah, get and, the hell out. Yeah. And you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I think it's 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 levels of that. And I, I agree with you. That's a really interesting difference between cultures and, like, <laughs> like I don't want to do that to my mom. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, like, <laughs> and it's weird because, like, I'll probably not be living in the state forever. So, like, that dynamic of my family is going to completely change, mm-hmm. you know, and it's interesting. Yeah. But that specific situation would, like, kind of sort itself out. But, like, more so it's it's the people that do it on purpose. Like, oh, yeah. Super. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, it's like, oh, literally, I, like, I'm not putting you back in my life good. Go over there. Yeah, dude. yeah. And I mean, people are shitty, dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's been a reoccurring theme with our conversation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but... And so, like, the the major, major, like, cultural thing that is just my biggest pet peeve is just the pure selfishness that is American culture. Oh, super. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, Super living in the Midwest. That's a big <laughs> thing, I feel like. It's, yeah. I, I don't know. I mean, people say, like, oh, Oklahomans are so nice. Yeah, they're, like, nice, and they'll, like, hold the door open for you. <laughs> but, like... That's, like, manners. Yeah, yeah, really nice. yeah. They won't, like... <laughs> they're, they're, they sl- they drive slower on the, on the highway. Like, <laughs> I get it. Uh, but, like, people... It's, it's really weird how people mm-hmm. are that way. And yeah. it's, like, I get it. You got to take care of yourself. Mm-hmm. But, like, what level do you feel like American culture is affected by every single selfishness. goddamn level. Like, yeah. <laughs> do you feel like, do you feel like, I could see already how like when the family alone in mm-hmm. Venezuelan culture is a lot different. Yeah. And I mean, like I'm, I'm hardly Venezuelan. Like, yeah. <laughs> I can't but it's in, it's in your life. But it's in yeah, your yeah. life, you know? You're yeah. not, you're not like me where I've been raised by like, I've been raised in Oklahoma my whole life by a white mm. family, you know? <laughs> you have a different culture than I do. Right, right. Yeah. And it's important to see both of those. Yeah. But like, it in let's say because you mentioned driving like the truck will cut you off because you're driving the speed limit yeah uh, <laughs> yeah like, uh, you're gonna get there like marginally like two seconds sooner yeah or we're gonna get to the same red light <laughs> you're just gonna chill by that person and be like, "Oh, look what happened!" Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, like... yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think there is a lot of importance in American culture when it comes to like now, 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 mm-hmm. right now, right now. Yeah, and that's just Western culture in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think that pressure is also really scary as an artist, mm-hmm. where it's like, I feel like I have to make everything right now, and I have to do everything yeah. right now. Yeah, like I, we've had a conversation with that about like career <laughs> stuff, feeling like, wow. Like I've like at the beginning of the semester, I was feeling very like, oh man, I'm behind because mm-hmm. I'm now finding this career thing I'm interested in. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh man, everybody's gonna mm-hmm. be ahead of me, and nobody's, and I don't know as much as other people in the class. Mm-hmm. Or like, oh man, I haven't done all these things career wise that I want to do, but like, yeah. I've learned so much, <laughs> and it's that stuff takes longer than you expect yeah. it to. <laughs> and I think like it's really scary, like the importance on like uh, Western culture puts on like, oh, you have to know everything right now and mm-hmm. right now, right now, right now. Yeah. Where like like the driving thing is a perfect example. <laughs> like maybe I should just chill out, hmm? and maybe I should just take a minute to relax, or maybe I should just yeah, enjoy yeah. this drive, or maybe I should just. Maybe I'm just going to eat this sandwich without looking at my phone the whole time and yeah. enjoy enjoy this area <laughs> around me. Or maybe I should put my phone on silent. Or, And that's really – that's that's mm-hmm. been important for me lately. Yeah, yeah. As somebody who's, like, grown up with internet culture, mm-hmm. jumped full head in. Oh, yeah. Been stuck in it. Got really depressed because the internet culture got out of it. <laughs> and now is finding this weird balance. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where it's, like – yeah, Tumblr eats itself. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> dude. I, so I just wasted, like, two years of my life on Tumblr. Um <laughs> But, like, and I hate to be, like, the person. No, I'm not going to say that because I'm not being, like, detached, dude. Just, like, <laughs> get out there and, like, see the world instead of being looking at your phone. Because that's just as valuable. I have mm-hmm. so many friends that I get to yeah, exactly. be in contact with all the time. And <laughs> Technology is a tool. Yeah, exactly. Technology is sick. It's not this thing where it's, like, oh, these robots are killing you. And yeah, they're going to, yeah, you yeah. know, like, yeah. or, like, oh, dude, it's you mm-hmm. You don't know reality right. because you can build a house with a hammer or you can bash someone's head in. Yeah, exactly. It's <laughs> a perfect, perfect analogy. Um, but, oh, man, it's, it's good to just like 
maybe I don't need to look at Twitter right now, or maybe I yeah. don't need to look. At, there's not there's no reason for me to look at Facebook ever. But maybe I don't need to look at <laughs> Facebook. Maybe I I haven't I used Tumblr for a while. I'm not even on Tumblr anymore. I mean, my blog's still up, but I don't like use it regularly. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I when I was in high school, <laughs> I'd just go home and get on Tumblr, and that was mm-hmm. my life for a really long time. Yeah. yeah, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe these things. Maybe there's things that are more important than like yeah yeah the self importance that comes from social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I use. I spend most of my time on Facebook of the social medias, but, yeah. like, I share a bunch of memes. Yeah. Like that's, yeah, that, and that's, that's real. That's what I do on Facebook, that's basically. A, that, there's a lot of hot memes on Facebook. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and that's, like, I don't know. I don't, like, get into arguments with people. I share my podcast. Yeah. I was like, eh. Yeah, I share memes. Like, yeah, exactly, <laughs> and that's and that's fair. Yeah, yeah, and so like you can use it however you want. Yeah, and that's what's really cool about yeah. social media is like you can create your own. It's also really scary, but you can create your own, like you know <laughs> what you want to create with it. Right, but right. also realize that there's like always so much more than what you mm-hmm. see other people posting. You know, yeah. you're like, oh man, all these people are having fun, and I'm like studying for this test, but it's also like. They're also probably doing that too. You yeah, know? yeah. And I, I try to like call myself out on that shit too. It's like I'll post something on Instagram and like, oh my gosh, you got like thirty six likes. Oh, yeah. that's great. Like, yeah, I have. I'm important. <laughs> I feel important because of this. Yeah, yeah, and then it's like these people don't know you, and yeah. they only like liked your picture because you use the correct hashtags. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I feel like for feeling. I post a lot of selfies, um, and that's been really cool because I feel like it's helped me, like, build my confidence a lot and the way I view myself. So Mm -hmm. I think that, like, stuff like that for social media can feel great. Yeah. Um, And now I feel – I shouldn't feel positive about the way I look because other people like it, but sometimes Mm -hmm. – it's been nice to be, like, other people think I'm good-looking or feel – and, you know, when you look yourself in the mirror, you're like, oh, I hate the way I look, and people are like, oh, no, you actually – you actually look sick. Like, that's good. And it's like I've grown from that where now I can accept myself mm. and not because other people like the way I look because I've learned to accept myself through the help of other people. Yeah. And I think that's really cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, r- going with Western culture and, self- and self-importance, and like social media is like the perfect like yeah, example yeah. of that, I feel like. Yeah. And, and again, really just like take care of each other. Is, yeah. Is so – And take care of yourself. Uh, yeah. Take yeah. care of yourself. Yeah. But like if – everyone's taking care of each other, then you don't have to take care of yourself. <laughs> I, I agree. I uh, mean, like, it's, yeah. yes, it's on feeble footing, but, like, yeah, that's... Yeah. No, I get what you're getting at. Uh, we have to... Because we can't do everything by ourselves. No, yeah. Can't. And that's that's <laughs> another thing that I'm really... I'm really learned that I've been bad about in my past where I'm just, like, I can do it myself. Mm-hmm. I don't need the help of other people. Mm-hmm. And then, like, I look at artists or I look at people I look up to and I'm like, oh, they had to help a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. They got help from a bunch of people. And yeah, yeah. It's, impo- it's not all – it's not just this one person in their room making their music and being mm-hmm. like, here's this professional-sounding thing because I made it in my room. It's like, yeah. no, there's so much more to it than that. <laughs> it's kind of liberating, though, at the same time. Yeah, exactly. Being like, oh, shoot, okay, maybe I don't it's have to It's not all just me. Yeah, and that's cool. <laughs> and with anything in life. Mm-hmm. Where it's just like, oh man, this person didn't learn this thing on their own. They learned it because they met this person who met this person. Mm-hmm. Or like, I don't know. It's liberating to know that like you yeah, don't have yeah. to do it all yourself, and, mm-hmm. and that's okay. Yeah, yeah. And then to a certain extent, also like, give the credit where it's oh, due. <laughs> super, super. And I mean, that's there's something. There's the facade in the music industry that you like to think mm-hmm. everybody did it themselves. Like the artists did it themselves and wrote yeah, everything yeah. themselves and did it alone, <laughs> you know? But no. Right, right. Yeah. No, Taylor Swift is a product of yeah. many millions of dollars just contributing to it. And then she's just kind of the face of it. Yeah. <laughs> and even like on a lower level, like somebody – like a indie artist, like we were talking about in class, like Perfume Genius had that song exploder, mm-hmm. and in that the song exploder, it played his demo version of a song, hmm. and it, that producer was such as much of a crafting of mm-hmm. that song, yeah, as exactly. much as he was, and that's cool. Mm-hmm. That's totally cool. It doesn't devalue what he added to it. Doesn't devalue what the producer adds to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. That's really liberating to me. Yeah. I think where you're like, oh shoot, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and even like last night, I helped uh, Sierra with her song cool um and like 
I was making creative decisions. Yeah. And like, I'm not taking credit for this song. Like, yeah. it's not my song. Yeah. But like, I helped and like, I kept asking her like, cool, did this help? Like, are you happy with like what I contributed? She's like, oh yeah, definitely. So yeah. like, it, taking care of each other, but like, yeah, that goes with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, collaborating and creating. We're not alone. <laughs> exactly. You're not alone. There's also aliens. Oh, no, yeah. So. Oh, <laughs> uh, ancient aliens uh, meme where the guy has his hands up. Yeah. Um, but, and then the other thing is, like, money. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the the root of. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, were you going to go? No. Uh, yeah, like, it, it basically is the root of all my problems. Like, I'm. Yeah, super. I'm incredibly happy. Like, yeah. I'm happiest now than I've ever been That's in awesome. my life. Actually, no. Either it's... through, like, philosophy or whatever yeah. it is. But, like, money is the bane of my existence. No, and it's really cool that you mentioned <laughs> that because, like, I am in a way better place than I was, like, two years ago. Mm-hmm. And it's so wild feeling that way. <laughs> do you have that thing where you're, like, we'll get back to the money <laughs> thing. But, like, do you ever have, like, a moment where you're, like, do you, like, evaluate, like, how you felt in the past and how you feel now and you're like, dang, I'm really appreciative? Oh, yeah. Uh, definitely. Yeah. Like, uh, there are times when I'll look back and I'm like, who is that guy? Yeah. Super. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, so, I mean, like, even uh, so recently, Sable and I uh, had our eight-year anniversary. Oh, yeah. I saw congratulations. Um, and so, thank you. Uh, I was an entirely different person. Yeah. When we first started. Yeah. And, like two years in, four years of in, course. whatever, like, just entirely different person. And so is she. Yeah. Um, but if y'all grew together and it makes health and it, y'all exactly. are healthy together, that's super cool. Yeah. But, like, yeah, I'll I'll look back and be like, wow, I have grown so much. And yeah. I'm, like, so much better to myself. And yeah, just better super. as myself. <laughs> and the thing that's always weird to me is, like, Man, the things that are important to me two years ago are not important to me now. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> I, I'm i like, I just want to, like, uh, there's things where I'm like, super superficial things that were important to me two years mm-hmm. ago. Kind of going with that whole, like, social media thing. Yeah. They're important to me then, and I'm like, now I'm just like, oh, whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, I know what I'm doing here, and I feel mm-hmm. comfortable with myself, and I know my, <laughs> my path. And that's yeah. really cool. Yeah, yeah. Like, maturing school is what I'm trying to get at, but, like. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's really nice feeling that. I think that's like been really mm-hmm. good lately being like, whoa, my life's in a way better place than it was. Exactly. You know? And it's it's hard to sometimes to think that way when you're frustrated, when you're like, uh, why mm-hmm. is this going on, this going on? But like yeah. at the same time, you're like, oh, shoot. Man, a year ago was so much more, it was so much tougher. <laughs> like two yeah, years ago yeah. was so much more tougher. Um, but going with the money thing, yeah, money's the same yeah. way with me. Like if money wasn't an ob- a thing that I had to worry about, I'd be killing it right now. Yeah, I'd just yeah. be like going, you know. <laughs> yeah, and but I gotta work. I gotta work, <laughs> you know. Yeah, and it's just like it. It really, especially lately, because of the economy being what it is mm-hmm. and not being allowed to live. <laughs> yeah, super. Like if you're poor, yeah, you, you don't get to. Yeah, sorry, you're not. You're not. You're not rich. Sorry, dude. Yeah, yeah, just, just uh, 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 we deserve more money. Totally. Yeah. yeah no. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucking tough to live in America yeah. right now, if you're un- if you're poor, mm-hmm. and middle class is tough too. Yeah. And it fucking sucks, and it <laughs> pisses me off beyond all beliefs. Yeah. That, like getting into politics, that like these rich assholes like are like with the tax bill. Like, yeah. Are yeah. like yeah, totally. This is what should we this mm-hmm. these are the tax brackets that should be in place now and yeah, we, yeah. these are not fucked up at all. Yeah. And they like I, you're just so out of tune with how you, how actually the world yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's fucking wild. Yeah. I was uh I was looking at like James Langford's Twitter uh-huh. and he was like oh like so glad that we got to help like middle class families with like passing this bill and it's are you fucking serious no, dude no no like, <laughs> yeah you're completely missing the point yeah yeah and like i know people who know him personally who like go to church with him or have like gone to like false creek with him and so jay like, man you're getting you're missing the point <laughs> right it's like how do you be a real person in the world and like also again double think like just yeah there were some terrible things in this thing, and I know, 
Yeah. But I have to keep this public face about like, oh, look, uh, 130 economists approve this bill. And yeah. like, yeah, but like, like a thousand of them hate it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, sure. A thousand of them hate it. And like a lot of the people on that list, like, aren't real. Really? Yeah. That's wild. <laughs> Damn. Like one person uh, didn't know that their name was on that list. Oh, another that person, sucks. Like, I hate that. Another person like didn't exist. Another person was like dead. Oh my uh, goodness. <laughs> I don't know, dude. When I saw that they had like photocopied it and some it, not only did they had do drawings on the side like writing mm-hmm. on the side of it because mm-hmm. they were trying to get it done at that specific time because they know that's the only fucking way it would get passed mm-hmm. is by completely fucking over everybody else. Yeah. Um and it was photocopied and some of that stuff was like cut off. Mm-hmm. Did you see that photo? <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, there's like one part, there's like a few pages where like they wrote like they have the type notes in the middle mm-hmm. for the bill and then they wrote some shit on the side, just adding it. And then it's photocopied and it's cut off. It's like, this is our government. This is the government that, like, yeah, represents yeah. us when they're yeah. doing – this is what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Like, I I don't do that in my reports, <laughs> like, in my, in my homework, yeah, yeah. you know? Like, this is the people that represent us. It's, mm-hmm. it's wild. And, you know, we live in Oklahoma, so it's very, like – oh, yeah. we – you and I are very, like, minority in the way that we, like – it's mostly a Republican state. Yeah. And these – it's just wild. Yeah, yeah, like, oh my goodness, I live in this state, and these are the people that represent me. Say, like, whenever Mary Fallon says shit, I'm just like, oh, yeah, oh, freedom shakes. No, <laughs> freedom shakes aren't a real thing. They're earthquakes. <laughs> Did you hear about that one? No, I didn't. But that... uh, she called the earthquakes that are happening because of my opinion, oil. Um, mm, well, it's uh, I looked into it. It's uh, uh, fracking, fracking water yeah. disposal. It's not fracking itself but uh-huh. it's like the disposal of the water uh that they're just like that these wells that are above ground and they just have all this like shitty dirty water that, yeah uh they used when fracking and so they're like disposing of the water by just like injecting it into the ground oh that sucks and so like by injecting it into the ground it's caught it's moving shit underground that's, that's some final Fantasy seven to... yeah shit yeah um <laughs> <laughs> um and I have a lot of – me and my sibling always make comparisons to the Devon building to the uh, building of Final Fantasy VII. But that's a whole other conversation. Um, uh, Sable calls it the Eye of Sauron. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, yeah. So she she was talking about the earthquakes and she called them freedom shakes. Yeah. That's like – that's some like 1940s propaganda Yeah, shit. I know, right? <laughs> that's 2000 – like that was, I think that was last year, 2016 when yeah. she said that. It's just – it's exhausting. Yeah. It's exhausting thinking about <laughs> these things that are happening and how terrible everything is. And it has been before. It's not like, oh, now it's all terrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, There's been terrible shit happening all across the world and in our country constantly. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's really exhausting reading about it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> but it's good. It's We're supposed to. That's – when your own yes. – <laughs> I, I mean it's – the only way it's going to stop is by getting – people talking about it Mm -hmm. and stuff like that you know yeah and when your own president says journalism is like your journalists are like making fake news oh yeah as a journalist major for two years that just pisses (laughs) me off yeah 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 well i mean we are a joke at this point super (laughs) super like i'm sure the rest of the well i mean there's stuff going on like brexit Mm -hmm. and other parts of the u.s or the parts of the the world that are just as shitty yeah and like Putin is also questionable, <laughs> and also North Korea, but like, but like, yeah, <laughs> we we voted for Trump. Mm-hmm. That's what majority, not majority, not, 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 not ma- majority, majority. <laughs> but the way our fucked up legal yeah, yeah. system allowed it to happen. Which I will say, like, uh, because like both both sides aren't great in this no no thing I, either. Because, I don't think like, the Democratic Party represents me well at all. Yeah yeah. yeah. So like. Hillary Clinton was a really bad option. Yeah. So, <laughs> ooh, look, y'all didn't y'all didn't follow what the youth was saying, and you fucked yourself over at Democratic mm-hmm. Party, and now they're like, yeah, hey, yeah. It's like Bernie would have done it, but Bernie would have done it, and yeah, like yeah. now the Democratic Party does not relate to the youth mm-hmm. at all. I yeah, don't. Yeah. I'm I'm a Democrat, but I'm not like, oh, the Democratic <laughs> Party, the DNC is sick. Like yeah. I love it. Like no, I don't <laughs> think it represents me well at all. Right. And that's what's that's why we're seeing both we're seeing. Radicalism on both sides, mm-hmm. which is fucking scary for the right. 
for mm. me at least, my opinion, that yeah. that like Nazis and all those kind of people sure. are, are, are yeah, pretty yeah. radical. And I mean, there's radical parts of the left that I also disagree with. Yeah, I don't. I'm not like, oh, radical left is all good, <laughs> but like, damn, dude, the radical yeah, right yeah. fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> well, we, we kind of talked about this earlier, yeah. but like, let's just go on to it. Uh, I think don't punch Nazis. I do. I'm all about <laughs> it. Yeah. Uh, and I, I get your mentality where it's mm-hmm. like love conquers. Well, it's even more so like philosophically and logically it's a slippery slope. So. It is. It, I agree <laughs> that it can be a slippery slope. But I also think that – I don't know. Let's take the Nazi aspect out of it, <laughs> out of it okay? If some dude is being racist and saying that like mm. all – like that like – that like genocide should happen again to mm-hmm. like to like POC people. Mm. I'm not gonna feel good about that guy, and I'm not gonna. And if he's not willing to, and, and the argument's always like, have a nice conversation with him. It's like, no, this dude wants to kill my friends. Right, like, right. I don't feel good about this. <laughs> I'm gonna punch him in the like. I'm sorry that aggression has to be a part of it. Mm. I wouldn't. I don't want it to be. Yeah. You know, it's not a thing that I want. <laughs> it's not a thing where I'm like, oh yeah, I want to punch somebody in the mm. face, or I want to do that Mm. I'm not even a very violent person you know but there's it. you can only take it so far where somebody will listen to you sure yeah Um, but I think like again just the 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 slippery slope is there so uh, if it's okay to punch someone who else is it okay to punch that just that just reminds me of the of the <laughs> of the the gay the anti gay like conversation where it's like gay get married then who else is gonna get married like what do you mean by who else is gonna get punched well I mean so okay like Nazis are okay to punch yeah okay but what about just like just a white supremacist okay uh okay okay, okay punch them okay yeah. uh, what about someone who's just like kind of uh, racist pretty racist no, yeah uh, I'm going gradually yeah. Like, yeah pretty racist yeah. Uh, but then, like, I think once you're getting to that point, yeah, and it, I, it's be getting it's getting blurry. No, I and I get that. I totally <laughs> get that. I don't think, I don't think our culture today would cause something like that because I feel like the most people who are okay, people are like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna punch some Nazis. Mm. They, you're discrediting how actually like intelligent they are, mm. and the way that they're like <laughs> they're aware of situations that it's okay and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, because like, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not trying to cause violence to every person that if somebody's not willing <laughs> if, if somebody's not willing to have a conversation mm-hmm. and is just like yeah I'm want to kill all like POC people mm-hmm. and I want white like nationalism in Oklahoma or in America right, right. like dude I'm you're not gonna have a conversation with me I'm gonna punch <laughs> you in the fucking face like I'm, I'm willing to have I'm willing to like I don't know like it's very like would you rather see those people getting into power. Mm. And and no, we don't have to because that's a, that's the opposite. It's yeah. like I'm not saying like let them go. No, I get your saying. Like, yeah, I get it's you. just don't punch them because that's assault. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but also like I I see that as I see as getting as what's the dude that got punched in the face? Who was like the white nationalist? Um, uh, Richard you know, Spencer. Spencer. Yeah, <laughs> that when he got punched in the face. That is very liberating to the people of mm-hmm. that to people who are anti that. Yeah, yeah. So that like this dude can get fucking punched in the face and like, like yeah, we're out here yeah, like yeah. being anti. No, I know. Like he he earned his face. Yeah, punching, yeah, but, exactly. Like, what level but it's is it okay? Assault. Yeah, and it's <laughs> that's fine that it's assault. And then, <laughs> and if the government wants to be like, okay, cool, then you're going to jail. Look at why this is mm-hmm. happening. No, yeah, I know. Yeah. Like it. But that's the thing is that you have to, one, like work within a realistic means. Yeah. Um, and so, uh, yeah, like if you go around punching every single Nazi, uh, yeah. like it, it's going to become counterproductive at some no, point. No, I, and I, I, I totally get that. <laughs> I totally, I totally – agree with you in a way mm. and disagree with you in a way in the way that like yeah going around punching every Nazi would be counterpointive if you're just going around punching every Nazi mm. but when somebody's actually like threatening people mm-hmm. 
in person. Yeah, yeah. But like get them in. make them lose their job and make them Yeah, like, exactly. Lose. I yeah, think yeah. I think stuff like that on on Twitter and people like being like, Hey, yeah, this yeah. person is, is super a good way to do it also. Yeah, that's yeah. that's that's an even better way. Because yeah. if you if you punch someone in the face, uh what are they gonna do? Yeah. They're either gonna fight back. Yeah. Um uh, which, I mean, depending on who's doing the punching, yeah. you don't want them. Yeah, no, back. I got you. I got you. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, or they'll become more radicalized. Yeah, totally. Um, so take some of the people that were at Charlottesville. Yeah. Not all of them were, like, complete fucking Nazis. Yeah. Um, but let's say someone was there and they were, like, in a wishy-washy position. Yeah. They, they didn't really expect that it was going to be this bad, but they're not, like, that against it. Yeah. Um. If if they show up to a thing and they're like, yeah, I think that, you know, maybe something is bad and I, I'm confused, but, like, I, yeah. I feel strongly about this. And then someone goes up and punches Punch you them. in the face. Yeah, no, like, they're going to be gonna like, go, whoa, oh, okay, I'm on this side. Fuck all black people. Then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I totally I get that. I think I think that it counts on the situation a lot. <laughs> I don't think it's like a. I think it really just counts on, like, what level that person's at. Because, mm-hmm. like, yeah, like, I – fuck fuck anybody who's that way. Fuck anybody who's even, like, like you know, moderately really racist. <laughs> where they're <laughs> right, like, right. yeah, like, I'm just not willing to – I'm not willing – I think I think there's levels of it. I think there's mm-hmm. levels of it. And I think by you saying, like, it's a slippery slope, yes, but I think that's, like – I think a lot of people are a lot smarter than that. <laughs> the, the people represent the group right, that I'm a right. part of. Um, and I think people like Richard Spencer should get fucking punched mm-hmm. in the face because they're on a platform. <laughs> and well, sh- Richard Spencer, there are better systematic ways of destroying the man. Yeah. <laughs> I I was super cool with him getting punched, though. <laughs> but I agree with you that the social media way is a really good way. Mm-hmm. That's that's where I've seen a lot more happening. Mm-hmm. Um, it's more effective. Yeah, it's more effective, but also I'm down to punch him. That's my, <laughs> that's my mentality. And I get your yeah, argument. Yeah. I get your argument of the slippery mm-hmm. slope. I think it... I yeah. think it's undermined some uh, some things, but uh, I'm brown. <laughs> yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Don't punch Nazis. <laughs> yeah, totally. But uh, because you're making it worse for me. Okay. In what way? <laughs> uh, in in the same way that like if someone who's on the edge, it, it like cr- if it's creating more Nazis. Yeah. It's becoming worse for me. Gotcha. If it. Uh, Causes people to assemble and sort of systematically try and fuck me over. No, because totally. they have more power as well. No, I get like, that. I get then that. it's like, oh look, all brown people are being violent. They're punching yeah. Nazis. Okay, yeah. well, we're going to systematically fuck these people. No, over too. I totally get that mentality. And, and then you have like people who are like actually in power who uh, apparently sympathize with. Uh, if if David Duke is supporting you, yeah. You why are you? Yeah, slow down there, buddy. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> no, I get I get where you're getting at. That's and, totally real. That's and so totally then, like, real. If more people start assaulting people in yeah. that way, then they will systematically fuck people over who are not on that either. I <laughs> I agree with that. I agree, and I could see mm. I could see how that would fuck you over. Um, I think. I'm cool with punching Nazis <laughs> when – and I'm not like – I don't want like every response to it to be that because mm-hmm. that's, that's not mm-hmm. – like you said, it's not – it's not like protective. Mm-hmm. The ways of like social media of like putting people's faces and con- contacting mm-hmm. their employers and being like, hey, this mm-hmm. person is really terrible and them losing their job is way more productive. Mm-hmm. Um, I think whenever there is somebody threatening you in front of your face, mm-hmm. that being racist to you. I think you have the right to want to <laughs> physically assault them if they're being like, yeah, you should die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not saying that, like, let's punch every person <laughs> in, in just for the sake of punching people. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying when you're put in a situation, mm-hmm. um, I'm cool with it. But yeah. I'm, I totally – but I'm, mm-hmm. I'm doing that in the way that, like – Yeah, the, I see that you're you, being reasonable about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I'm not <laughs> saying, like – I'm I'm doing it in a way that like wouldn't end up in the way that's fucking you over is what I'm saying. <laughs> I hope you can understand that. Right, uh, yeah. right. Um, and then the other part is that like the left is eating itself. Oh, super. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think I like I said, doesn't represent me yeah, well yeah. at all. Well, not even just like Democrats, but like the far left that yeah. is going like 
you are not progressive enough. I said, don't punch Nazis. So I'm a Nazi sympathizer. And so the left can like, you know, take a quote out of this podcast. And I go, yeah. whenever I say don't punch Nazis, they can also take out that quote where I said, fuck all black people. Okay. Uh, yeah. 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 And I where you're like destroy me. Well, there's, there's, <laughs> there is, um, just because somebody falls under a certain mentality doesn't make them like prone from being a terrible person. Mm-hmm. Does that make any sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I had somebody being, who said something racist to, to, um, to some guy was being like, you're racist to one of someone mm-hmm. I knew. And they're like, but I'm dating a POC person, so I can't be racist. It's like, no, that's not, how it that's not how it works at all. <laughs> and it's like, just because you're liberal and mm-hmm. you're, you're extreme, mm-hmm. um, that doesn't mean that you can still f- not fuck up and make yeah, shitty yeah, decisions. Yeah. Like that doesn't mean that you're like, Oh, I'm so liberal. That means like I can, everything I say is right. Mm-hmm. And that's how it is. Mm-hmm. Like it's just as problematic yeah, yeah. as being, I, I mean, you gotta, you gotta be evaluate the way mm-hmm. you're acting and evaluate the conversation you're having with mm-hmm. a person and seeing the context of what that yeah. stuff is. I'm very being said that I am very like pro, like I'm sure you are too. Like, people getting called out for the bullshit when it comes to, like, sexual assault and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, or even, like, the stuff that's happened in, like, colleges recently where uh, people are getting, like, no-platformed. Um, I don't know anything about that. Um, so, like, if a a public speaker who has said some negative things or even just, like... Um, I guess, like, old news at this point, but, like, Milo Yiannopoulos is old news at this point. But, like, he he got uh, no platformed at, uh, like, a college campus. At Berkeley, he was, right? He was to, uh, yeah, yeah, he was supposed to speak there, and then, like, the people there just, like, threatened him with violence or whatever. And they, yeah. Like, like, couldn't. Um, but I also but don't think that dude thing... should have gotten a platform in the first place. Sure. Yeah. Um, but then it also happened with, like, Richard Dawkins, uh, who, like, Richard Dawkins is, like, yeah, good for thinking. Like, yeah, no, yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> uh, and so the left going, like, hey, he doesn't like Islam. Get him. It's, yeah. no, like, Richard Dawkins is on your side. <laughs> yeah, I think... Uh, I think that's a really hard thing to balance is, like, you can like things that shitty people do. Mm. There's, like, things like art. <laughs> I There's art. I mean, like, I love the Smiths, but I don't mm. agree with Morrissey mm-hmm. being like, oh, yeah, all that. You shouldn't feel bad. You shouldn't accuse those people of rape. Mm-hmm. He, that was something he was, like, recently mm. talking about. Yeah. It's, 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 like, the whole, like, Hollywood stuff. Mm-hmm. It's really – and that's something I really don't – I don't know what the answer is to mm-hmm. where it's like, yeah. And that's something I deal with a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think about a lot is like I can like some – like like the art that somebody creates mm-hmm. but also disagree with them. Mm-hmm. And that's that's just something that I don't know the answer to. Yeah, and that's yeah. something that I'm just currently mm-hmm. thinking about a lot lately. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like him Him is a perfect example where it's like this guy has pushed science forward so much. Mm. Um but also, he's said some shitty shit about mo- about religion. Yeah, I don't yeah. know specific. Like, he, he doesn't say shitty thing, uh, shitty things about Muslims. Yeah, he says, he says shitty things about Islam. Gotcha. I mean, I say shitty things about all religion. I'm an atheist. Yeah, fuck all religion. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, I, I I get it. I don't know. I haven't looked into that, so I don't know enough about the situation mm. to comment on it. Um, uh, but, but like, the left is eating itself. Oh, and I it's, mean, it, you're there alienating the people who they should be supporting. Uh, yeah. Like Sam Harris as well or uh, Majid Nawaz. Um, these are people who, like, are public, like, thinkers mm-hmm. who have been uh, damaged by the left and gotten, like, threats like death threats because they have a a more nuanced view that doesn't quite include all of the things that the left dictates is yeah. correct or progressive 
Um, there is going to be extremes on both sides, mm -hmm. and they don't – you <laughs> don't have to relate to all of them, you right, know? Right, yeah, right. like like I wouldn't say I'm any kind of way right mm. at all. Mm. I mean, I don't agree with everything that people on the left do. Yeah. You know, like – and that's <laughs> – it's that's what's kind of so polarizing about, like, being – in America right now mm -hmm. is like we do have a lot of people that there's extremes on both sides. Yeah. Um, I agree with a lot of the extremes of one side and the other. It doesn't mean I agree with everything that they, that side does, you mm -hmm. know? Yeah. But I agree with you where it's like, dang, there's <laughs> a lot of extremes and like yeah. there's a lot of people doing a lot of sh shitty shit yeah. on both sides. Yeah. And I mean like I agree more with like what people are doing on the left, but there's going to be bad people on all sides. Mm -hmm. I mean the perfect example <laughs> is like democratic people coming out as for sexual assault. Yeah, yeah. Can't be like, oh, this never happens in the left. Like, no, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does. Just because you have a different, like, yeah, yeah. political view doesn't mean you're going to be, mm -hmm. there's not going to be any kind of mm -hmm. sexual assault or anything mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. You got to, I don't know, being aware of being like, maybe mm -hmm. I don't relate to different ideas of within this, like, one group mm -hmm. is, it's kind of, it's kind of weird because yeah, it, yeah. I feel like growing up, I've always <laughs> been like one or the other. Mm -hmm. And now in, like, the political climate, I am pretty, I mean, I am pretty extreme with a lot of my, my thought processes, mm -hmm. not in like, <laughs> not in, not like that extreme where I'm like <laughs> trying to hurt people or stuff mm -hmm. like that. But like, I don't know. I don't, I don't put up with a lot of bullshit is what I'm trying to get at. Right, right. Yeah. Which is like totally my mentality with a lot of stuff. Yeah. And that's good. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's good to not put up with bullshit. Yeah. But it, it's bad to like. Cause more bullshit. Actively, yeah, yeah. Cause more bullshit. Yeah, and <laughs> conversations like this are really important for that yeah. kind of stuff because um, you can th be in a place where, like, you're like, I'm left and, like, I have this mentality and that's mm -hmm. my mentality. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's just just as – it's good to have conversations about it is what I'm trying to get at. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think the the final thought on that – and then we'll wrap it up uh, – but yeah. <laughs> um, is that – don't like define yourself from the box. Yeah, super. <laughs> I mean, with everything in life, where being like terms help people in some ways, mm -hmm. and like that's what I'm mostly thinking like gender stuff and mm -hmm. and sexuality yeah. stuff, and that's super cool. And if that helps you, totally. Mm -hmm. But like, you don't have to be one thing. Yeah, you yeah. don't have to. You don't have mm -hmm. to uh, be okay with this, this, and this. Like, mm -hmm. you don't have to be like, okay, this is what, this is the box I'm within. Mm -hmm. Like, you can take aspects, not in a political, I'm saying this, I'm saying this, I don't relate it with, like, political ness because, right, like, right. I'm not, I, I literally can't think of one thing I agree with the right. <laughs> but, like, you don't have to be, you, you don't have to be as extreme as everybody mm -hmm. if, if they're taking it in a way that you feel like is negative. Mm -hmm. You know? Like, yeah, you yeah. can, you can stand for the things you believe in and be like, yeah, hell yeah, I'm for this mm -hmm. thing. Um, but just because somebody is going like one, like deeper into mm -hmm. like extremity, mm -hmm. you don't have to do that. Yeah. 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 And I think you, uh, kind of even more on like the, the, the like gender stuff is that like the way that you put it on like Facebook, whenever you were like, Hey, I'm like non-binary and, uh, I'd like to be referred to as they and them. And if you don't like, that's fine too. Like, yeah. I really appreciate that you were, like, you know, like, it's okay if people make mistakes, but, like, this is what I prefer. Yeah. And, like, that's the best way to do it. Rather yeah. than go, like, if you don't do this, then we're going to have a problem. And yeah. blah, blah, like, oh, I get on. I get that mentality also, mm -hmm. though, because it can be very hurting to people. Mm -hmm. uh, it You won't really understand that mentality unless you have gender dysphoria, mm -hmm. I think. Where, like, it actually hurts to be put masculinity pushed on yourself. Mm. I mean, yeah, I think there's, like, I think it's more my thing is, like, look, I, if you're somebody close to me and you're using he, him, mm -hmm. then, like, dude, what are you doing? Mm. You're doing this because you, of some reason. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I think that's where, like, that becomes a problem. I, I... It sucks because I get that gender dysphoria that people have with and the anger that comes from mm -hmm. that. And I don't mm -hmm. think that's something you can fully understand until you've been there. Mm -hmm. um, and even I am not like – haven't had it as bad as other people. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, in my situation, I've been very like, hey, I prefer mm -hmm. this. 
Um, I get people mess up, but if you're close to me and you're still using he, him, come on, dude. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. like, yeah, like that's when I'll get like upset. And then there's people, mm. if they like, I haven't really experienced it, but I have friends that are like trans that have experienced where people mm-hmm. use like it as like on purpose. purpose. Yeah. And yeah, that's where I, I do too. Yeah. Exactly. I think that's where freaking, that's where I feel like it. Yeah. People get upset about an it. an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And I think there's a mentality on like internet culture of like for gender stuff where it's mm. like, you misgendered me, like those jokes. Like mm. I've had one of those jokes done to my face at the school, mm. and that sucks. Mm. Um, and there's like this whole internet culture of idea of like, oh, these like special snowflakes of people like mm. getting all pissed off if mm. you misgender them, and it's like, yeah, because most of the people that are doing that are doing that on purpose to like mm-hmm. hurt that person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So and so yeah, that I think that's my initial thing is that like. It's more about respect. Yeah, totally. Like, if if you don't like being referred to as fuckhead, then I'm not going to call you fuckhead. Yeah, totally. Because that's disrespectful. And so just don't and just refer to people the way that they would like to be. And if you make a mistake, like... That's fine. Just, like, And that's, <laughs> that's the thing that sucks because gender dysphoria comes from mistakes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I think it's more like... If you make a mistake, apologize yeah, and yeah. keep trying instead mm-hmm. of, like, saying you're trying and not actually trying. That's, like, a yeah, super yeah, thing yeah. that happens all the time with, with mm-hmm. the pronouns. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, my stuff with gender is going to be different than everybody else's. Yeah. That's the cool thing about gender yeah. and the scary thing about gender is, like, everybody has their own experiences mm-hmm. with it. So well, I can't. People. What? Talk to people about it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And I can't. The things I'm going to say might not relate to somebody else. Mm-hmm. And... That's cool. They have their own life with it. Um, But I agree, going back to what we were talking about before, like, yeah, like, you don't have to fall under one thing. Mm -hmm. It's not like you have this term and it's like, (laughs) there's only two terms. There's there's only the bind, there's only male and female, you know, (laughs) like, there's only Democrat and Republican. There's only, like, Mm -hmm. you know, this thing and that thing. Mm -hmm. It's so liberating to just be like, I'm going to be me and that's sick and I'm going to do what is important to me and take care of myself. Yeah. And that's fucking so cool. Yeah. I'm sure you feel that way, too, with a lot of stuff. Yeah, no, definitely. Yeah. And especially since I, I don't fall into, uh, like, my political, religious, spiritual, whatever beliefs, whatever all that mess is. Yeah. Is, like, uh, I don't know, anarcho-techno-communists or whatever that might mean. <laughs> but, like, there's not a box for it. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Um, and so, like... Uh, and it's just it's just what it is. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. You can have conversations with people and, and learn and and change, and that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, la- the question that I usually try to ask uh, at the end of the second one uh, is, but it kind of turns into something long, but let's try to like, keep it short-ish. Uh, yeah. What's something that you've been listening to, watching, or playing uh, uh, Cool. that – you want other people to know about. I'll, I'll give a shout out to the McAvoy brothers again for their podcasts. Yeah. Uh, my brother, my brother and me um, and Adventure Zone are hilarious and super mm-hmm. fun to watch or listen to. Um, also, if you're a big gaming person, I really recommend the Giant Bomb podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, they're a great journalists over there and they're really great at keeping me, like I listen to them to keep you update with game mm-hmm. journalism and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, Music wise, Oh, geez. Uh, now I'm on the spot. I can't think of anybody. <laughs> um, I've been listening to a lot of Yellow Magic Orchestra. They're like one of my favorite groups of all time, but they mm. just got put on Spotify. They're a nice. 70s, late 70s, early 80s synth pop group from Japan. Cool. And I love them. <laughs> um, and they're really good. Uh, and uh, I love them a lot. Um, cool. Games. I don't know if I would recommend playing the Animal Crossing app game. But, but, uh, but, <laughs> but you're playing it. Yeah, but I'm playing it. Um, I love it. It's, I mean, it's it's. I, a lot of people don't like it because it's uh, it's uh, not what they want out of an Animal Crossing app game. They mm. want the full Animal Crossing experience in an app game. And yeah. I totally get that, and you have the right to be like, I don't like this, but I don't want that. <laughs> I want to pick it up for five minutes and do whatever. Sure. <laughs> um, it's super fun. It's super cute. It's yeah. nice. I like yeah. hanging out, seeing my friends. Uh, <laughs> uh, camp parks. I can't wait to get that. Uh, I'm trying to get a uh, what is it called? <laughs> a uh, half pipe right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. So my animal animal friends can shred constantly. <laughs> uh, it's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, I I don't know. I, that's that's that first things cool. that come into my mind. Yeah. Yeah. 
It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, I've been listening to Clipping still. Oh, I love Clipping. Uh, Clipping's so good. Yeah. Did you uh, see them when they were in town? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's how I, like, got into oh, it. Oh, super cool. I, like, they were heard... really weird for that. I didn't ex- – that was really weird to see them in that lineup. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, I had heard uh, work work on Song Exploder, um, and then I, like – I remembered their name because yeah. of Song Explorer. I was like, oh, I should go see Clipping. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my God, this is so good. Yeah. But, it's sick. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I've been obsessed with Clipping for a little while. Yeah. Um, uh, watching, I recently watched Stranger Things Season 2. Oh, that's like excellent. next on my to-watch list. Yeah. I'm finishing my rewatch of <laughs> Cowboy Bebop, and I'm like two episodes away from finishing yeah. it. And I'm going to start that. I'm so excited. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then playing... I'm going to play Everybody's Gone in the Rapture. I'm still playing Pyre. Um, cool. And, yeah, it's just really good. Um, oh, yeah, also on watching uh, Nerd Writer and Wisecrack. And I love just Nerd Writer. I um, love Nerd Writer. The YouTube yeah. channel? Yeah, yeah. I love Nerd Writer so yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, his his uh, Steel Dan video is really good. I showed that to my dad, and he mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, I love this. <laughs> this stuff's really good. Just his oh, production yeah. and everything is really mm-hmm. good." Oh yeah. Um, something I forgot to mention for watching. Uh, I watched uh, Jim and Andy, the documentary on Netflix about Jim Carrey playing Andy Kaufman. Oh, I I, I saw that that was there, but it's yeah. really good. Yeah, it's I yeah. can't recommend it enough. <laughs> Even if you haven't seen the movie or know anything about Andy Kaufman, it's really good at getting you interested and. Now Ooh. I want to watch uh, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. because yeah, they talk about that movie also oh, in the documentary. It's really good. It's a really good movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> Before um, we get too far into Right, right, yeah. right. Thank you for uh, having me. No, yeah, of course. Thank you for being with uh for doing the podcast and for arguing with me. Yeah, uh, of course. <laughs> I, I didn't think it was an argument. Right, right. I, I think it was <laughs> It was really good. It's really good to see. It's mm. really good to have a conversation about yeah, that, yeah. and it's really good to see uh, that kind of stuff. Where can we find you and your things? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash Patamon, like the Digimon. I'm really proud of that one. <laughs> um, uh, you can go to cosmostanza.bandcamp.com for my rock music I work on with my friends. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find my uh, my electronic music at soundcloud.com uh, backslash canon uh, dash kid. Uh, you can follow Galaxy Swim Team on Twitter and Facebook, and also our website is galaxyswimteam.com for awesome. label stuff. And you can uh, listen to uh, my podcast I run with my sibling, Garland, about NASCAR (laughs) and all other things racing um, at uh, (laughs) rollingstart420.tumblr.com. Yeah, thank you for having me. It was a really good time. (laughs) Uh, I'm Santiago Ramones. I'm Maxwell Moore. Uh, You can find all the things that I do on my website, SantiagoRamones.com. I uh, have music as well as this podcast. Uh, you can leave reviews on the podcast app if you're using that. Um, or just, like, comment on my website if you like what's going on or if you like me to talk about some stuff. Uh, episode 100 is next. And oh, shoot. I will, Dang. Since I interview other people, I am going to be interviewed. That's good. That's a good 100. episode 100. That's uh, a good 100. So stay tuned for that. That would be a lot of fun. I end every podcast with my three things sort of shape my life philosophy and the way that I act and treat people around the world. Um, And those three things are love never fails. It's going to be okay. I might be wrong.
Awesome. Cool. That was so much fun. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Was, <laughs> yeah, of course. That was a good, it was a great conversation. Yeah. <laughs>